guys, I just wanted to let you know that the study.com 68% promo, where you get 68% off the first month, making it just $75 and cheaper than any other ACE credit provider, they have extended that to uh, September 20th, actually. So that came as a big surprise uh, that they have extended that promo. So now it's basically, it lasts the entire summer, you know, all the way up to the end of September. So if you guys did not get a chance to take advantage of that 68% off study.com, they have extended it. It will be extended September 20th. Uh, so if you want to go do a couple classes, if you just found out about WGU in the past couple days, if you just found out about ACE credits recently, the study.com 68% off promo is still available. So as I've talked into my other videos, what is study.com? What are ACE credits? ACE credits are uh, credits certified by the American Council of Education. And if these websites partner with universities that accept those credits, then they can be accepted as college credit. And this goes for any school in the nation. Now, if they're not a partner school of study.com or these ACE credit providers, then they might not accept these as ACE credits. They might not accept them as college credits, but they still might. Now, if they are a partner college, they are 100% going to accept them. So like I said, you can go on my website, majormash.com. I have a bunch of spreadsheets for hackable schools like Western Governors University, uh, Thomas Edison State University, where I graduated from, you know, UMPI, which is a really good state school that has a really good online component. All of these schools, you can hack a degree fast. You can get a bachelor degree in like a year and a half or less, a, a bachelor degree. You know, these usually take four years, right? You can get them done in a year and a half or less, sometimes as fast as well under a year. You do that by doing these ACE credits, such as study.com and other providers. But study.com is my recommended one. And you can, like I said, get 68% off there, do a bunch of courses on there. They're the most tech friendly uh, one. So if you want to do a tech degree, they have the most tech classes that you can transfer in. And I will show you the tech classes in a second. This will be a short video today. This is mostly just me notifying you guys that they are extending that promo. So I just found out about that today and I wanted to let you guys know that information, you know, because some of you might see that as useful. Some of you might still want to take advantage of this summer promo that they're doing and get that 68% off. So there it will be a link in the description where you can click that and go all the way to checkout. And usually it works the best if you do it on laptop slash desktop and then just follow it all the way to checkout and it will be applied there. If you do it on the phone, sometimes it's a little glitchy. Sometimes if you, uh, sometimes if you do it uh, without going all the way to checkout, you won't see it apply. So if you just click the link, it's just going to look like the normal homepage and some of you get kind of confused. So like I said, click the link and just go all the way to checkout and it should work. So, and if it doesn't just message me, but, uh, I'm going to take you on a study.com screen recording. We're going to look at the website. We're going to look at what classes you can take in the tech degrees. And I'll give you kind of my opinion on which classes to take and my opinion on if they are difficult or not. All right, guys, we're on the study.com, uh, not quite the home page, but we're on the college partner page and we're going to take a look at this right now. And this will show you all the partner colleges here. And obviously I talk about a select few of these. I mostly talk about Western Governors University, which I think is a just an absolutely terrific school where you can get a bachelor degree in a year or less and still learn a bunch of material, uh, really digest the material. Um, like I said in a previous video, you cannot get a WGU degree without learning the hard skills. It is a school that really does force you to learn the material. You cannot pass the tests without knowing the material. You cannot do the projects without knowing the material. So while it does have a bit of a self-learning concept to it, like a lot of on online colleges do, you know, you still have to learn. So I'm a big fan of WGU. Uh, I've heard University of Massachusetts Global is kind of on the rise with some of their degrees. Uh, Maryland Global is a pretty good school. UMPI is one of my top three favorites. Thomas Edison is one of my top three favorites. Um, SNHU is a pretty good school. And a lot of these are pretty decent schools. You know, Liberty University, I might make a video on them at some point as well. Um, so Colorado State Global is a pretty decent school. I have a couple videos on them that you can check out, uh, which is more of like, if you don't want to do any tests, they're more of like a writing college. You do like a bunch of writing every class. 
So if that's kind of your thing, that'd be a perfect school for you. Uh, and like I said, you got some other schools on here as well. But those, the ones I just mentioned are the schools that I prefer. Um, and there are other schools that will still accept study.com credits. It doesn't have to be a partner school. It's just the partner school gives you that guarantee, you know, but other schools will still probably accept something. You know, I think it's very rare that a school doesn't accept any like ACE credits at all. It's just, if they're not a partner school, they're probably going to accept a very minimal amount. Um, and they're going to kind of pick and choose which ones they're going to accept, which would probably mostly be general education. Like a lot of California state schools, right? They, they might accept quite a bit of general education from study.com. I do have a CSU, uh, CSU Bakersfield video that you can check out and I might make more California state university videos as well. Um, but yeah, that is the partner school section and we're going to get into the computer science courses and the tech courses here and I'll show you, actually, let's get into math here. So, right, so we're on the math section here and like, here are all the math courses that they have. They actually have more than this, but this is like their most popular ones. They have college algebra, which is a good course to get out of the way. Uh, Pre-calculus, calculus. Calculus is much e easier as an ACE credit class than a college level class. Calculus is like one of those hard classes you want to avoid. Like it, it's a course you don't really need out of college. Like you're not going to use calculus in real life usually unless you're like programming a physics based game for the most part. But like you don't need calculus. You don't need it for a coding job. You don't need calculus for almost anything. Okay. Uh, th that's why you want to do it at an ACE credit platform. Get that really hard course out of the way so you don't have to do it at your university. And we have discrete mathematics as well. And this is a very popular course on study.com because you can't take it on any other ACE credit platform. Study.com is the only place you can take discrete math. And this is, a lot of people say discrete math is the hardest course in a computer science degree. So a lot of people will take this at study.com to avoid taking it in their normal computer science degree. So that is another huge popular uh, course right there. A lot of people sign up for study.com to get this course out of the way. Uh, computer science courses have become so popular that it's actually its own section now, which you can click right here. A lot of people will sign up for study.com because there's more tech courses offered on study.com more so than any other ACE credit platform. You can get a lot of tech courses out of the way. You can get a lot of your tech degrees out of the way. So it's got like three, four times as many courses as any other platform. Uh, Fundamentals of information technology that usually covers like an intro to IT class. Uh, introduction to operating systems covers operating systems and the TESU degree and many other computer science degrees. Uh, database fundamentals that'll cover your intro to data basically WGU course and your intro to data TESU course. So that one's pretty uh, good. And the intro to networking, the same thing as I said here, but for networking. And then your introduction to programming class will cover your scripting and programming foundations at WGU. It'll cover your introduction to programming class, I believe at both TESU and SNHU and many other schools as well. And you actually do learn programming in this course. It's actually a really good course. I've taken this course myself. You will learn all the basics of programming. You know, your arrays, you know, how it all works, etc. cetera. Uh, introduction to cybersecurity. You got programming in Python. I've personally taken this course, pretty good course. There is a mini assignment here, but it's not that difficult. Um, and you got so many other courses. Computer architecture. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Computer architecture on study.com is really difficult. The project is probably the hardest project I think is on this entire website, but um, it's still easier uh, than most computer architecture college courses. So it's still worth a shot here. It's still worth doing here, in my opinion. Software engineering. So software engineering is like one of the tech courses I don't recommend on study. It's easy here, but on WGU, the software engineering course is like four days. So it, it, to me, it just kind of defeats the purpose. Plus on TESU, this course will not transfer in as an upper, ele upper elective software engineering course. And then guys, you have your English. So English one and two at study.com will transfer in as English one and two as a, at any of these partner schools. And if you're like me, I hate doing English at college, uh, just way too much writing. And it's a lot of writing about things you don't care about, right? So English has always been a course for me ever since high school where I just don't really care for. 
Like, I like to write, but not about things that mean nothing to me. So it's like doing it on study.com, you can get it done way faster, less writing, you know, just so much more simple than a college level English course. So you can do English one and two here at study.com. And then the last course I will cover here, guys, is you can do all of your WGU nursing prereqs at study.com. And this is why I highly recommend WGU's nursing degree over any other RN degree. It's why I even recommend WGU's uh, BSN over any associate nursing degree, because it would take about the same amount of time. So you can get a bachelor's in two and a half years. Two and a half years, you can get a RN license and a bachelor degree in nursing. So you can do your prereqs on study.com. All these courses will not take you longer than two weeks. You can do all your prereqs here. And you can take the dreaded pathophysiology class on study.com. This course is really difficult on WGU. I if I give you any advice on anything for this YouTube channel, it is do not take pathophysiology on WGU. Take it on study.com. It's still difficult on study.com, but there's no project. It's just quizzes and a test. If you get 100% on all the quizzes, you only need a 55% on the final, and you avoid this massive headache at WGU. So, you know, you can get this course done in three weeks or less, uh, probably a lot faster if you just have unlimited time. Uh, if you've really got unlimited time on your hands, you can absolutely get this done in under a couple weeks and like just get this headache out of the way for your WGU nursing degree. And it would transfer into other degrees as well, but the, the main degree you would do this for is the WGU nursing degree, the pre-licensed degree. So, Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like I said, this video was just a quick video to kind of tell you that the promo was extended. Uh, I just found out about that, so I wanted to kind of make a video uh, announcing it to you guys. I guess I could have made a announcement, like a comment or something, but I just wanted to make sure you guys saw it. Uh, and also just kind of going a brief overview of some of the most important courses on study.com. So... I will leave a link to the pathophysiology video I've made in the description. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoy your Saturday. I hope you enjoy your weekend. Um, you know, go out and do something fun. Summer's almost over, so enjoy it while you can. Um, I know school is starting for a lot of people, especially like normal in-person school. So, you know, people are about to get really into their studies and things like that. So I hope you all had a great summer. I hope you all have a great fall. So thank you so much for watching. Also, please like and subscribe if I helped you in any way. As I've mentioned previously, when you like the video, when you subscribe, it tells the algorithm, hey, this video is good. We're going to send it to so many more people. And you guys have been doing that lately, which is actually, it has been sending the video to newer people, which is amazing. So I, I really thank you guys for that. You know, every comment, every like, every subscribe, and the algorithm basically rewards you and pushes your video to more people's homepage. So I appreciate that, guys. I'm trying to grow the channel as much as I can. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.